feeling better over here. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to recap just because uh, so many things were so important and I'm adding a few clips of some of the people that I feel were giving some really good information about uh, Pluto and like what it is and the mindset that we should have if this is ever about to occur. But um, I've noticed over the last couple of days more people, more people that are, you know, are able to see where we're going um have all had the same feeling that we're just we're really closing a chapter and we're entering something new and it's something that we couldn't really expect but of course you know when you look at movies from like 1935 you definitely know life has changed since then and none of those people in any of those things ever knew what they would be changing into anyway i had a few little notes that i wanted to talk about today but I wanted to recap just exactly how long and I think the where I left off was that I had this amazing job and that I had to leave in 2019 after an eclipse and yes I did and so ironically there was this Saturn conjunction to Pluto which I knew was going to happen in the world stage but that something was going to just be where it's financial and I just felt so like that's not what I'd like to do at that stage so it was another chance in my life where it says hey would you like to take everything you know and see what you become? And certainly I did, but <laughs> pandemic was here. I started this other job, which was kind of related to what I was already doing. And that's another thing. I think at that point in time, Pluto was inching up to a Pluto square Pluto. And so where that is for me is in my 10th house. And then, um, Pluto had moved to possibly, yes, my second house. So I've already had like Pluto do something crazy in my second house, which makes a whole lot of sense because so many things have changed by then. Which, you know, I wasn't paying attention at the end of those years of like, if I was gonna have another Pluto, Pluto something. You know, at that point in time, I really thought that that Pluto conjunction to my son was just the biggest thing that you could ever go through. And I was just so happy to just have had experienced it. And I, you know, stuck it out and that was hard and here I am but then here I am you know it's it's present day and Pluto is still playing a big role in my life I'm not sure if anybody else is paying attention this much and this is probably why I'm having to do this video and it might not be for someone that I'm writing this in the next uh, that's gonna listen to this in the next hour but these are real accounts of um, what you would experience and would have to just sort of have to navigate on your own and I don't I can't even tell you what caused me to even be turned into that except for it quite possibly could be that I just needed answers and there just wasn't any and you know going back to my blue conjunction of my first house in December of 2007 I remember just leaving a church and that really was big because that was the person that told me I was not going to be, or I'm not meant to be just only a singer. And that's nice. I hope she didn't really take that away from me. It's just that that wasn't going to be my career. And I'm so happy it wasn't because now that I know what I know and what I wanted to be, I would have destroyed myself. Anyway, but here I am today. Yeah. Anyway, going on to say is that those plutonic transits to change even your belief system and who you are all come at those times and you just have to just do what um what it says and i am looking back i'm just so happy that i gave in but at the same time when you really evaluate it like what do you have to lose you're already you already know in your head that uh, something has to change and you're you might as well be that person it's always better to just really just say hey change is needed and this is what I feel I think that you you go through the, the process but uh, you anticipate it better rather than being surprised by the universe that hey here's your change and then you know you hadn't really thought about it and it might not be the way that you'd like to end it so if you have a choice and you know make it um, going on to say what was super important
I guess currently in my life, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm approaching this opposition from Uranus to Uranus, and then, which is going to be in about a few years, which is around the same time as um, Saturn, opposing the Saturn I was born into, which happens to you like around this age or Anyway, um, I, um, I realize that I'm up against like a whole lot of a change in my life, so who knows, you know, um, sounds good to me. I mean, if everything is inching me closer to an ideal that I believe that's worth living for, I mean, that's what I believe, you know, so set amount of things, you know, that I need to, to have or whatever. I do enjoy the nice things, so. though. So, as you can hear, life is going on in the background and everything. I hope that you can hear me. Um, it's Valentine's Day here, so I wanted to find, I wanted to let you know what day it is. Not sure if the video will be ready for today. Oh, yeah. So, at the end of my Pluto Square Pluto in October of 2020, I've had this weird thing where maybe i felt as though like it was time to go but this woman decided to be so disrespectful in my mind that i just gave her the key on that same day and walked out never knowing what job and then i suddenly ended up finding this other job that i really enjoyed so much and it really allowed me to um exercise all of the things that i have done so passionately and loved and and, and did and in a sense i did find a fulfillment in it and it wasn't so much, I guess I was okay with just, um, you know, understanding that a pandemic had happened, my life is going to be this way, I'm going to be living on my own, and I just wouldn't have enough money to enjoy um, a good vacation that I would like to have because I have to pay for my cost of living. And it's so funny how... In a time where I really didn't know what that answer was going to be because I just knew that it was just a matter of time before it all catches up and, you know, and it did. Inflation situation really took over in the spring and summer of, um, of 2022 and caused me to make some decisions. But I also had an eclipse again that just came along and just trying my stuff. And it's something that didn't happen for almost, I think they said like 30 something years. So if you understand, I've been waiting for this for a long time to change my life. So it's not just Pluto that brings about this big change in your life. It really is um, a combination of those things. And um, knowing them and helps you to, gives you a sense of, I guess, coping, I guess. You know, that's what you get out of, out of the basis, but, you know, it's really up to you and how you navigate what you go and what story, you know, you're, you're allowing yourself to, to sort of 